It is about time that you decided to divorce Ethan because no woman in her right mind would want to be married to a man who's not in love with her. Teresa, enough. This is between me and my wife. Listen to me. Listen to me. You don't know what you're saying. You don't want a divorce. Of course she wants a divorce. She just said she didn't. Why don't you just accept Teresa, it? Teresa! Listen! Enough. I know why you're upset. I don't blame you. But you don't understand why I was holding her. Oh, Gwen. I don't, don't... want to hear another pathetic excuse. I'm so sick of it. But Gwen, it isn't an excuse. There really was a reason why Ethan was with Teresa this time. Oh, please don't insult me, okay? I don't want to hear another justification for your daughter trying to steal my husband. This is all about manipulation. You, my dear, are too thick to see. Gwen, this is not about manipulation this time, all right? We all came here to tell Teresa that Luis is dead. What? That's right. In Morocco or something, we don't know the details behind it, but apparently it's true. She was upset. I was consoling her, Gwen. Luis is dead? Yes, he is. Oh, my God. Laura, I'm so sorry. I never would have flown off the handle like that had I known. I'm so sorry. You didn't give anyone a chance to explain, Gwen. Oh, gee. Look, I really wonder why, Teresa. I mean, it is so unlike you to try to use a tragic circumstance to your advantage. I mean, what better way to get Ethan to pay attention to you tonight? How dare you? How dare you accuse Teresa of using her brother's death to get close to Ethan? Oh, Pilar, enough, all right? You have always wanted Teresa to snare Ethan, like you wanted Luis to be with Sheridan, and if not Luis, oh, then there's right. a child. Oh, 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 Pilar, oh. she's not even worth it. Don't waste a breath on her. Ethan, is that any way to talk to your mother-in-law? For all, I am a crane, and the only reason you and Gwen are allowed to stay here in this mansion is because of the generosity of my husband, Julian. I don't care who you're married to. Fact is, you are a mean-spirited and very selfish no. woman, Rebecca. No. Not if you value our marriage the way you say you do. Gwen, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your mother well, here. you know what? My mother may not be the easiest person in the world to get along with, but neither is Teresa. You know, Gwen, I thought you understood. You know, she just lost her brother. I do understand, and I am very sorry. I'm incredibly sorry. I can't even imagine what Pilar and Sheridan are going through right now. But that is still, that is no excuse for Teresa to use this tragedy to get closer to you. You know, I thought Alistair was the monster in this house, but ever since he married this bitch, there are two. Stop it! Okay, Mom. Just bust up. Tired of you no, sucking my daughter! Are you just stay out of I will not stay out of Hey, hey, hey! Stop! Come on, Martin. Prove your manhood. Or are you too surprised to see that I'm willing to stake my life on the fact that you don't have the guts to kill me? Even after all of the things you think I did to your family, the dastardly things. And even that you think right now that I'm the one responsible for the death of not one of your sons, but two of your sons. Like I said, you underestimate me. Oh, that was a gunshot. Martin. God, he's killed oh Alistair. Oh. 